This episode of Hack College is sponsored by Radar.net and Kegworks. This is Hack College. It's the lie you tell your professor when you forgot to do your homework. Today we'll be checking out the latest revolution in digital textbooks. And we'll be checking out a new Wii game that simulates a college classic. And we'll be checking it, checking it out. Another dad tip. <gasps> Welcome to Hack College, the life hacking show for and by college students. I'm Kelly Sutton. And I'm Chris Lozinski. And now for someone shotgunning a beer. Oh god. Weren't expecting that, were you? If you'd like to be featured shotgunning a beer on our little podcast shindig, please send an email over to shotgun at hackcollege.com. And now, on to opposable thumbs. This is Opposable Thumbs. We take three geeky news stories and we give them the finger. Thumbs up, thumbs to the side, or thumbs down. 90 seconds or less, every story. Story number one, go! The New York Times criticizes the NCAA for being archaic. This is, of course, from the New York Times. Um, but if you didn't already know, uh, the NCAA limits a reporter's ability to blog during a sporting event. Um, no laptops are allowed for either team anywhere. Like, if you're even, like, related to a team member, you can't have a laptop, something like that. Um, and no video recording devices are permitted. That also includes photographs. And you can't send faxes in between the press box and the players on the it field. It actually says that in the rules. No faxes. <laughs> yeah, so what are you going to give this one? I'm going to say thumbs to the side. I'm going to go thumbs down. I mean, okay. the NCAA is really, like, lagging behind here as... The article points out, like, you have the NFL up here that's just going, like, techno-crazy. You have, like, the Patriots just, like, videotaping, like, the other coaches, like, signals to their players and stuff. And then you also have, like, actually high schoolers, like, trying to, like, use all of this technology and see what they can do with it. See, I was always, like, rubbed the wrong way by just the idea that the coach can actually say plays into the, the ears of the... The, the, the yeah. player in the NFL, like, I just, I think that that kind of stuff is just unnecessary. It's, like, game-changing <laughs> stuff that's, like, what, it's, like... <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't baseball have, like, flaming baseballs instead? You know, that'd be um, so much more competitive and stuff, and it'd be so much more fun. Did you ever I mean, see Did you ever see the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger called The Sixth of Day? No. Um, you'd really like it. There's the beginning scene, and, like, it's, it's a, there's a HUD in the football player's helmet that, like, tells him, like, there's, like, a blitz coming and stuff. It's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Story number two. UCLA beta tests a new version of digital textbook distribution. All right, we got this from the Chronicle of Higher Education. It's these little kiosks and they're going to appear on about 30 trial campuses including UCLA and they basically print all of your textbooks onto a DVD. Burn them rather, okay? They're burning books on the DVDs. <laughs> and so they spit out the DVD and the DVD sort of like self-destructs after a while yeah. um and then your textbook is gone forever. So it's just a new way of doing it, I guess. And I'm going to be like thumbs to the side. Thumbs to the side, yeah. My big complaint here is that you're just renting the textbooks rather than buying them. And like the, I'm guessing the way they're going to do this DVD thing is that they're going to, the DVD is going to look at the date that your computer is set to. And if it's past a certain date, it's like, well, your semester's over. This DVD is worthless now. Which They've got to be smarter than to make it just the date on your computer. Yeah, but I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll probably be like encrypted through something or. Mm -hmm ping like a server or something which i think is kind of shysty but it is good that they're cutting down on paper waste and, and stuff I, I, like well that. Uh, the reason i think it's a thumbs to the side and not a thumbs down is because it's kind of like an interesting compromise to yeah. like the whole digital textbook thing because you don't really need to be able to like resell your textbooks if they're digital i think that's kind of a stupid true. premise true i mean you should i mean it should come hand in hand with it that it's a way cheaper product and yeah. stuff like that yeah um, so I'm hoping that that's the direction that they'll and take it. As long as you can print them out, that's all I care about. Story number three. College starts program to allow technology access during exams. We originally got this from eSchool News. Um, there's a college in the land from down under called the Presbyterian Ladies College in Sydney, Australia. Um, and they're taking the whole open book test a step further. They're saying, no, let's do open everything. In fact, call your mom, call your friends call your lifeline <laughs> and the reasoning behind this is that uh in the workplace uh you're going to be doing all those things anyway if you can't figure something out um what are you going to give this one thumbs to the side i'm gonna go thumbs up 
It's really an interesting concept. I mean, I, I like fucking am astounded, and yeah. it's like I, I hope this actually spreads to other places to see what will happen. But I guarantee people will just take advantage of it and start like actually crossing the line into cheating. Yeah, well, see, this is, this is interesting because I actually have like first hand experience with this. The computer science program here, most of our tests are open everything. Like we can open our books, we can surf the internet. I mean, we can look at Wikipedia for answers. Um, with one caveat is that we can't communicate with our fellow classmates or anyone else to get the answers. Mm -hmm. And basically that's just an excuse for the professors to make the test really, really hard. Yeah, that's but, what I was saying before, is that I mean, like it, it does open the door to making just really hard tests and like really right. hard exams, which is kind of interesting. I think that's like a really fascinating thing, like push students to kind of see like how far they can do if they've got the aid of technology. But you've really got to know so. All right, let's hit up one quick dad hit. Well, howdy, slugger. You know, your computer might be on one side of the room while your internet plug is clear on the other side of the room. You know how your mother feels about unsightly cords, so let's use some tape to get ourselves out of this sticky situation. Gaffer's tape and cloth tape stick well without leaving too much residue but duct tape is cheaper and won't need as much reinforcement. Tape down one end, pull it taut, then tape down the other. Next, follow the straight line while shaping the tape with your other hand. If you've got any questions you'd like to ask your old pop, I'm right here. Just email me at dadtips at hackcollege.com. Don't eat too much pizza, kiddo. Thanks, pop. Allow us to take this moment to thank one of our sponsors, Radar.net. Radar is the ultimate camera phone picture social network. It lets you share your pictures privately with your friends by uploading them quickly right from your mobile. Snap a pic, email, or MMS it with a caption and it's online instantly. Check out their hot new website design, their mind-blowing Facebook app, and their exclusive galleries for college humor and dorm life, plus much, much more at Radar.net. Love Radar. You can actually see my feed of live streaming pictures uh, if you find me on Radar, which is Lazinski is my user ID, and then Hack College is my little password. Um, yeah, and just a quick shout out. I visited Radar.net last weekend. New office is really sweet, but they gave me ping pong balls with the Radar logo on it, and I hope they're just distributing those to every single college campus. Speaking of beer pong. All right, we're here outside LMU's very own corner pocket. Um, and here we're going to review the game Pong Toss. Pong Toss is beer pong in Wii form. Let's do it. I love how this game is rated E for everyone. <laughs> That's probably what like the whole battle was over at Nintendo. <laughs> it was like we got to get this game to E, you know, like they do with like a with, like, with the Kevin Smith stuff. movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, we gotta click next. Right, I'm gonna take Douchey Frap away as my character. Mm, right here. Start the game. All right, so we're playing speed, speed speed pong, pong right pong. now, which is like, it's just like fast as you can, <laughs> sink all ten cups, and they're like all sorts of crazy distractions and stuff. Dude, speed pong is oh, kind of like no uh, cup, no cup. it's it's like Mario Kart yeah, it's on. Like Mario Kart. <laughs> it's the Mario Kart of beer the pong. Beer pong, so it's like you're playing two games side by side here, and it's just whoever can make the most cups. And if you make certain cups, there's bonuses of like. Like like a barricade like will a like barricade come in, or, or like a cups will disappear <laughs> or shrink. <laughs> um, yeah, and this this mode of gameplay is much much better than the uh, like the regular beer pong form, which is boring as hell because there's, <laughs> there's no drinking going on. <laughs> there's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's just well, you know, what? I suppose you could add drinking to either. Like, imagine if you added drinking to speed pong. Like, you could get totally. Ra you could rail someone because you could just yeah. like they'd have to be <laughs> drinking the whole time. <laughs> that they, that you're, <laughs> can I? I might have to take my top off and distract you. I might have to doing too well. I might have to put my balls on the table. It's perfect for the Wii. It is. It is. We just need the Wii mote to weigh. As much as a ping pong ball. Yeah, oh, I <laughs> they just need a mini one. So like, <laughs> oh, all, all you have to do over. to actually like. So that's pong toss. Maybe the gimmick is worth the eight bucks. I think it might be. It might be. Um, if you have bought pong toss, let us know what you think. Send us an email to dear at hackcollege.com. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And thanks again to JV Games for hooking us up with the copy. Speaking of beer pong, again, you know, we want you to check out our new sponsor, Kegworks. Okay, they've got these great beer pong cups that you can buy, okay, that are reusable beer pong cups, okay? 
and they've got all sorts of little features and you're not gonna believe it, they're actually like really interesting, okay? First of all, they got these specially like coated or textured bottoms so that the cups don't slide around, you know, like what a pain in the ass that is, okay? <laughs> so the cups don't slide around. They also have like a wider base, but they're the same height and like diameter somehow as regular party cups. So the wider base keeps them from getting knocked over as easily. And they're also like semi-transparent so you can keep an eye across the table and, and make sure those cups are actually full of the beer. And, and there's a fill line also built in and there's there. fill lines. There's like, <laughs> and there's different levels. I mean, that's great. You can and just be like, yeah. 20 bucks, right? Yeah. I think it's, they're like 20 bucks or something, but check that's it nice. out at hackcollege.com slash cups. We'd love for you to support our sponsors because by yeah. doing that, you're supporting us. Or if you want to buy anything else from Kegworks, they've got tons of stuff. They've got like kegerators. They've got like legit like home brew brewing kits. They've got really weird little gadgets swag of all sorts from different beer companies go to hackcollege.com slash kegworks and click through right there well that's it for this week um, on hack college just a heads up we will not be coming out with an episode next week um, most schools have a little fall break so we're also taking a fall break we'll visit hackcollege.com in the meantime where we'll definitely have some blog posts just text instead of engaging visuals of kelly and i but you can still interact with kelly and i through our emails chris at hackcollege.com kelly at hackcollege.com i'm chris lazinski and i'm kelly sutton and until two weeks from now we'll see you later Email you to me at. Uh, Let's start over. Yeah. I was, I was, I had the life preserver and I was running. Down. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. <laughs>